What's up, YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode, I'm always contending for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. Today, a brief conversation on the right of confirmation. <music> Now, if you've been following along with this channel, you'll see that I've started a series, albeit not very popular, <laughs> uh, telling the story of our faith under the guidance of a, a confession worth dying for. And if you haven't watched those, I highly suggest them. We're going through the Augsburg Confession, article by article, telling the narrative of the Christian faith. But for this episode, I want to tie in the rite of confirmation for two reasons. One, uh, because our youth when they are confirmed, when they make a public declaration of their faith in front of God and the congregation, they are asked if they are going to hold to that Christian faith, even to the point of death. And so, obviously, what we believe and every nuance of what we believe is a confession worth dying for. In the Lutheran Church, we ask our youth, are you going to hold to this faith? even to the point of death. And today, uh, as a matter of formality, having been catechized multiple times, uh, being instructed in the Christian faith multiple times, having studied theology at a university level, but having never formally gone through the rite for the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, I was confirmed. Now, when I was younger, at the, the normal age, when I was in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, or the ELCA, today commonly known as everything Luther cautioned against, I was confirmed. The robe, the whole rite, everything. Had the confirmation party, everything. Uh, I switched into the Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod without really realizing what I was doing, and at Concordia University learned exactly what I had done and thanked God that he had indeed done it for me. I had learned the one true Christian faith according to the Lutheran confessions, which say the same thing the scriptures do. And I had just never gone through the rite of confirmation. I have done so today. I am a confirmed member of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, and I wanted to share that with you. So I had someone with me who had my cell phone while I was being confirmed. And so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, with my YouTube viewers. Uh, the right is a little informal, but that's okay, because it's it's simply a right. It's not like it's a sacrament or something. Uh, it's simply a right. It's a public declaration of my faith in front of God and witnesses that I am indeed a Christian, and in this case, a Lutheran. And so I thought I'd share that with you, and without any further ado, here is my adult Confirmation. Beloved in the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ said, All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And surely I will be with you always to the very end of the age. Now you have been baptized and have been taught the faith according to our Lord's bidding. The fulfillment of his bidding will now celebrate with thankful hearts, rejoicing to confess the faith into which you were baptized, and which you yourselves will now confess before the church. Jesus said, Whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess him before my Father in heaven. But he that denies me before men, I will deny him before my Father in heaven. So therefore, lift up your hearts. Uh, to the God of all race and joyfully give answers to what in the name of the Lord as a minister of his church I shall now ask you. Do you this day in the presence of God of this congregation acknowledge the gifts which God gave you in baptism and answer by saying, I do. Do you renounce the devil in all his works and in all his ways and answer by saying, I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, Jesus Christ, His only Son, and the Holy Spirit, three persons, yet one God, as we have confessed in song, then answer by saying, I do so believe. Do you intend to continue steadfast in this confession in church, and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from it, then answer by saying, I do so intend with the help of God. 
Do you hold all the prophetic and apostolic scriptures to be the inspired word of God and confess the doctrine of the evangelical Lutheran church drawn from them as you learn to know it from the small catechism to be faithful and true then answer by saying, I do. Do you desire to be a member of the evangelical Lutheran church and of this congregation and answer by saying, I do. Do you intend faithfully to conform all your life to the divine word? To be faithful in the use of God's word and sacraments, which are his means of grace, and in faith, word, and action to remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, even to death, then answer by saying, I do so intend by the grace of God. Very good. At this point in time, Randy, if you would please kneel. I can't be here. Brandon Lee Greenwood. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, give you the Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom, of knowledge, of grace, and prayer, of power and strength, the sanctification, and the fear of God. The Bible passage that I chose for you on this day, Brandon, is a blessing. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I, I be afraid? Psalm 27, verse 1. Okay. Ryan William God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ give you his Holy Spirit the spirit of wisdom of knowledge of grace and prayer of power and strength of sanctification and the fear of God this word of blessing for you for I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes to the Jew first, and then also to the Greek. Romans 1, verse 16. Now upon this your oh, this is your, upon this your profession and promise, I invite and welcome you as members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church and of this congregation to share with us in all the gifts that our Lord has for his church, and to live them out continually in his work and worship and service. We pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your great goodness in bringing these, your sons, to the knowledge of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and enabling them both with heart to believe and with mouth to confess his saving name. Now grant that bringing forth the fruits of faith, they may continue steadfast and victorious to the day when all who have fought the good fight of faith shall receive the crown of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you with the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now the Almighty and most merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, keep you. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of 1517 Films. I'm really excited to sh have shared it with you. And until next time, may God richly bless you and the grace and the mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins.